A mural meant to highlight one community's diversity was defaced twice just days after the artwork was completed. CBS 2's Kevin Rincone has the story tonight from Highland Park, New Jersey. This mural is entitled Home is Where We Make It. It was completed late last week, but by Saturday it was defaced twice. Anthony Redmond had watched as it was being painted. People were stopping by, talking amongst themselves in community, and they were just, it's like, it was like a nice social atmosphere when she was doing it. And like to come back and see this is like terrible. Highland Park police are investigating this as a case of criminal mischief. People need to uh, learn how to accept change a little bit more. The artist behind the project told me she's startled, adding many people said kind things during the installation. However, many people said hateful things. I was referenced as a racist and a Nazi by individuals who approached me while I was working. Public art can often be a mirror for a community, and if you're in this community and don't like the reflection of your home, now is a perfect time to stand up against any hatred. This mural was meant to highlight recent resettlement efforts for asylum seekers and refugees and serve as a reminder of the town's welcoming history. Many now here left frustrated with what's happened. That's a hate crime. That's a hate crime right there. I'm shocked. Let's put it that way. I am shocked. I don't think it's representative of the community or the people that live here at all. The Council on American Islamic Relations condemned the graffiti. CARE says bias incidents in New Jersey have been on the rise. It's just to drive a wedge between people. Um, and it's just not right. The one bright spot has been the community response. We didn't have to point it out to anyone that this was a problem. Um, the local community uh, understood that from the very beginning. Over the weekend, more than 100 people came out for an impromptu rally to show their support for the artist, the mural, and what it stands for. In Highland Park, New Jersey, Kevin Rincone, CBS 2 News.